<coughs> I think I, I talked to him so long, I think I strained my arm. <laughs> That's okay though, it was worth every minute of it. Oh. <coughs> it's funny how John, I don't know how many times in his, when he opens up, <coughs> he. <coughs> I might as well sit down because he's going right down the same line. Um, <laughs> Here, I'm moving away from you now. <laughs> I don't know why I like to have this thing just right. Now. <clears throat> you know, uh, I hit on election there a couple weeks ago, I believe, and I want to look at election and reprobation. <clears throat> now many look at reprobation as if the Lord chose some to be damned. <clears throat> that's that they say it's a Calvinistic view, and <clears throat> that's how they look at the doctrine of rep of reprobation. Well, I hit on election, <clears throat> and I want to. Take a little bit of a different path with this, with this, the, with the doctrine of reprobation. <clears throat> Our Lord is ever present. I don't know how to get start into this. Our Lord is ever present. He's not bound by what we are bound, which is time. Yes. <clears throat> there is no past and there is no future. Correct. He is present. In the present. <clears throat> He's always in the present. <clears throat> if you look at reprobation in the fact of our Lord, <clears throat> this is how it's viewed by others, looked forward to look at what the sins of those reprobate are, and because of those sins, they are reprobated. No. <clears throat> That's absolutely false. Absolutely. <clears throat> because then you would say that the elect, he looked forward to their what their good works would be. Merit. <laughs> Merit. Thanks, John. That's the word I was looking for. Merit. <clears throat> that's that's not that is not, not <clears throat> that is not true true. Not grace. <clears throat> I think the key point is to display the riches, and John just said the grace, his mercy, but also his justice and his judgment. Amen, brother. Amen. <clears throat> and to praise him for that. That's what we're doing now This in this dispensation. And I think it comes back to, <clears throat> I think it's parentage. <clears throat> and I want to go, I want to go back to Genesis, 21st chapter. <clears throat> this is a, this is an event that we're all familiar with. Sarah had sent Hagar in unto Abraham. <clears throat> she gave him a son, which that's what Abraham had prayed for and looked for. Yes, sir, brother. His name was Ishmael. Yes, you love him. <clears throat> But now there had been a promise made unto mm -hmm. Abraham and Sarah. <clears throat> and the Lord visited Sarah, as he said, mm -hmm. and did unto Sarah as he had spoken. Amen. Sarah conceived mm -hmm. and bare Abraham a son in his old age. Yes. The seed of the promise. Amen. <clears throat> and Sarah... God hath made me to laugh, and it was Elder Adams I, that said Isaac means, what is it? I think I wrote it down here, one who laughs. Mm -hmm. 
Now you get on down through here. Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Egyptian mocking Isaac. The elder shall serve the younger is where, is where we're heading. And also the son of the bondwoman. Wait. And God said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad and because of thy bondwoman and all that Sarah hath said unto thee Hearken unto her voice, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Amen. <clears throat> and also, now there was a promise set forth to Abraham about his son Ishmael. <clears throat> and here's the promise. And also of the son of the bondman woman will I make a nation, because he is thy seed. Mm -hmm. Peter tells us there are two seeds. There is a corruptible seed and there is an incorruptible seed. <clears throat> and Abraham rose up early in the morning, took bread and a bottle of water and gave it to Hagar, putting it on her shoulder and the child and sent her away. Now I'm here to tell you, <clears throat> I don't, <clears throat> that, that was grievous. The, Abraham heard the Lord tell him, don't be grievous, but Abraham was grievous. Amen. That was his son. Amen. He handed him a bottle of water and a loaf of bread and sent him packing into the desert. Amen, <clears throat> and the water was spent in the bottle and she cast the child under one of the shrubs and she went and sat down over against him a good way off as it were a bow shot. Let me not see the death of the child. And she said over against him, lift up her voice and wept. And God heard the voice of the lad. Why, why, why was it the lad? Because he was the seed of Abraham. That's the one that God heard. He, 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 he heard, he heard Abraham's seed because he had promised Abraham <clears throat> that he would be a great nation. Yes. Now here Abraham, he hands him a bottle of water. <clears throat> <clears throat> the works of man are limited yeah, to right. a bottle of water. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what does the Lord show Hagar? This is a different shoot off. But what does the Lord show Hagar that was there the whole time? He opened her eyes until oh, unto a well of water. <clears throat> the works of man are limited to a bottle, but yet the works of our Lord God is an unlimited well of water that was there the whole time, but she could not see it until her, until, until her eyes were open. That's it, brother. <clears throat> but now right here, I'm, what I'm, I'm, my, my uh, point is another way. It's the parentage. You, 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 you have Abraham and you have Sarah, the, the seed of the promise, which is Isaac. You have Abraham and you have Hagar. Hagar and Ishmael was not the seed of the promise. That's right. It goes through Isaac, the parentage. That's that's what it is looking to. It has nothing to do with our Lord forward looking because our Lord cannot forward look because he's ever present. He did not look down through time and say this one here is going to do good works. So 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 I'm going to pin him in, in the book of life and this one here is not going to do any, any good works. So I am not going to pin him in there. It was those that were chosen from before the foundation of this world and John mentioned that's what I was talking about. He said it's family. It is family. Family, it is parentage. <clears throat> That's that right there. It is vital union yes. with our Lord. <clears throat> it has nothing to do. Over to Romans 9. I hit it. I think I hit it this <clears throat> week. And like Connie said, <clears throat> for those given eyes to see, it's very clear. Verse 11. For the children. 
Now I'm talking about God looking forward for good works or sin. It says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There are none righteous, no, not one. <clears throat> that thief said we get our just rewards. <clears throat> Job, Job said he sealed them in a bag. Mm -hmm. The iniquities, they are sealed in a bag. <clears throat> but this right here, this right here stops that right there in its tracks. For the children, having not yet born, not brought forth. They haven't brought forth, they haven't been brought forth yet. He's talking of <clears throat> Jacob and Esau. Neither having done any good or evil. <laughs> now I'm talking about election and reprobation. It has to do with the lineage, with the seed. That, that's what it is tied to. Who are the parents? And I'll go over in Galatians in, in a second. And I've heard John, he's talk, he's, he spoke on this time and time again. They say, here is your father, but who is your mother? Amen. You hear, here's your father, but who's the mother? And we'll go over, that's in Galatians 4. But let's, let's finish this. That, okay, for the children, being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil. Now he tells you the purpose. That the purpose of God, that the purpose of God, according to what? according to election, might stand. It's the parentage. It, it is those that were chosen in Christ. It's that family back, back there. It is not that God looked forward and rejected this set because they were sinners. All have sinned. And the old prophet Isaiah of the same lump, Amen. the potter Amen. and the clay, the exact same lump, all have sinned and come short. It is that family that is chosen. I looked up how many times the word brethren is used in this scripture, and it's almost 600 times. <clears throat> He starts off, and Paul especially, starts off, they all, they all started off. To the brethren, to the family. That's, that's, that is who he is speaking to. You finish this verse. That the purpose of God, according to election, might stand. Not of works. He did not, he did not look ahead and say, that one there is going to do this, so I'm not putting him in the book of life. Absolutely not. <clears throat> that is not reprobation. It has to do, <laughs> it has to do with that incorruptible seed. And our Lord is the seed of the woman, Genesis 3.15, that is stated. And he says right here, <clears throat> According to election might stand not of works. It is not of works. How much clearer can it be said right there? Not of works, but of him that calleth. But of him that calleth. <clears throat> Our Lord said over in John the 17th chapter, I pray not for the world. I pray not for the world. I pray for those that were given me. That right there. The election of grace. Not looking forward. Not looking forward to this one will do that. And this one won't. This one won't, won't do that. 
John, and to, to John before we started, he was talking about Saul. Saul, he had letters from the high priest throwing those in jail that, that were of that way, those that followed our Lord and some to the point of death. And 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 when and when Ananias, our Lord, he visits Ananias, Ananias knows exactly who he's talking to. Yeah. The Lord says, Ananias, and Ananias says, Yes, Lord. He was conversing with God. That's who he was conversing with. <clears throat> and the Lord said, Go over there to Saul. <clears throat> And and here Ananias says, What? Lord, no. this man has done much hurt. Yes. He was questioning God. And then you know what? I'd have done the same thing. I, I ain't I ain't knocking off on Ananias. Amen. He was having a conversation with our Lord and Savior. <clears throat> if our Lord, if reprobation was our Lord looking forward to the works of man, would he have chosen Saul who had thrown his church into prison and some to death? <clears throat> Absolutely not. It goes back to the parentage and that incorruptible seed. Those that were given him from before the foundation of this world. You know, I got to thinking. <clears throat> Slow down, keep my breath. <clears throat> <clears throat> For as long as <clears throat> well, I'm going to use Katrina, <clears throat> mom, mom, and dad would go over there and visit them. Ever since I was single digits. Lord have mercy. Been a, it's, a, it's been a minute. <clears throat> Me and me and Kevin play and her and sis go, you know, they go play in the room, do what do, 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 do whatever little girls do. No, we've known each other all of our life. <clears throat> but she has a mother and father. <clears throat> I have a mother and father. <clears throat> it can't change the fact even though we've known each other all of our life. <clears throat> in the flesh we are not brother and sister. That's just the truth. <clears throat> In the spirit, our hope is we are. <clears throat> it has to do, it has to do <clears throat> with that. Well, let's go read that. Galatians 4. For this Agar is Mount Sinai. Hagar is tip is typified as Mount Sinai, the law. And answereth to Jerusalem, which is now and is in bondage with her children. But Jerusalem is is above, is free. Free from what? It tells you right here, bondage. Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Rest from what? This bondage. This bondage right here. That's the rest. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all, all those that were chosen in Christ Jesus from before the foundation of this world. And then you go back to John 3. <clears throat> verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born, uh, verily, verily, I say unto you, except, except a man be born again, born from above that incorruptible seed, 
and that incorruptible seed that Peter that Peter tells you about in the first chapter and verse 23. There is a corruptible seed. There is a natural seed, and that and, and that is why and that is why in this flesh, unless you have the same mother and father, you you, you cannot be brother and sister. But if that incorruptible seed and you are born from him above, you absolutely are brethren and sister. Absolutely. And that right there is the election of grace. But what of those that are reprobate? All have sinned. They are not covered by that precious blood of our Lord and us and our Savior. They can not be redeemed because redemption means there must be a prior relationship, a prior ownership. There must be, if I walk in, if I walk into a pawn shop and I lay something down for how, however many days it is, I am the only one on the face of this planet that can legally redeem that object because I'm the only one that has prior ownership of that object. It must be that way. <clears throat> And you had that exact same thing with our Lord and our Savior under, under redemption. He can only redeem those that were given him from before the foundation of, of the world. And there is a birth and it is from above and it is Jerusalem, it is Jerusalem the mother of us all. It is not our Lord looking forward, <laughs> looking forward to what the works of us for all have sinned. Paul said, oh, wretched man, he didn't say that I was. It's present tense that I am now. And as long as this treasure is in an earthen vessel. There will be a conflict. It will go on. <clears throat> Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And Nicodemus asked the question that every human being would ask. How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? That's a perfectly valid question. <clears throat> what do you mean? <clears throat> verily, verily. And when you see a word doubled up like that, <clears throat> read it close. <clears throat> behold, behold, he's saying verily, verily. I say unto you, this is our Lord here speaking. Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he can not enter into the kingdom of God. It comes down from who your parents are. <clears throat> That's where it comes from. That incorruptible seed. <clears throat> That which is born of the flesh, and that's exactly what our Lord is saying in this verse 6. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not, Nicodemus, and he's talking to every one of us. Marvel not that I say unto you, you must, you, you must be born again. Then in verse 8, he tells you, he tells you how it will happen, but he doesn't tell you how to do it because we cannot do this ourselves. It is the gift of God to those to, to, to those back there that were given to, 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 to our Lord. <clears throat> the wind bloweth the spirit of the Almighty God, typified here as wind. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but you can't tell whence it cometh and where it goes. 
so is everyone. And if it says everyone, there is no one that is born from above that is left out of this verse right here. It says everyone <coughs> that is born of uh, so is, I left the word so out. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Now that redemption. <clears throat> I think I'll go back to Adam and Eve. <clears throat> Adam and Eve. The Lord brought Adam forth <coughs> from, from, from around the dust. First off, the Lord, he planted a garden. <coughs> and the two trees of significance is the tree of life. <coughs> and that other one is the tree of knowledge that Adam did not possess. It was knowledge of good and evil. It wasn't the tree of good and evil. It was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. <clears throat> Eve partakes type over to the church. The transgression takes place. <clears throat> Eve partakes of the fruit, <clears throat> is endued from that with knowledge that, that she did not possess because she was brought forth from Adam and Adam did not p -p -p possess it. <clears throat> Her eyes are opened. Adam was not deceived. <clears throat> but he's looking at bone of his bone, flesh of his flesh, standing there in front of him. A deeper, a deeper love, <clears throat> but because it was a union. <clears throat> He was not deceived, but he freely partook of that fruit because of that union and that love that he had for his wife. That's exactly what happened. And you take that right there and you bring it over to our Lord and our Savior standing in the garden Peter, Peter pulls his sword and he's going to defend his Lord. <clears throat> the Lord reaches down. He puts that ear back on Malchus and said, Peter, I can request more than 12 legions of angels right now, <clears throat> but I must partake of this fruit. He must drink that cup all the way down to the dregs. He must drink it all. And he freely offers himself up for who? For those that were given him from before the foundation of the world. For he had a legal responsibility for them as a husband and a wife. <clears throat> and he can only redeem those that were given him. Prior ownership. There must be a prior relationship. Our Lord could not bring one in. And he could not set one aside. <clears throat> but those that are those that are reprobate. <clears throat> because our Lord is perfect in mercy. In grace. In justice and judgment, <clears throat> they are sinners and they get their just reward. But for those that are of the election of grace, <clears throat> those that were born from above, they are covered under the precious blood of our Lord and Savior, the, 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 the redemption of and the reconciling back to the Father under the umbrella of the atonement, which is the at one month. 
the atonement. <clears throat> it's a beautiful picture <clears throat> of the sovereign or the almighty, amazing grace of our Lord and Shepherd. <clears throat> Right, we're right here in Ephesians 1. <clears throat> Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> and the Lord just opens your eyes up when, when, when you read these. <clears throat> He says, by the will of God. And then he tells you exactly who it's to. It's to the saints, which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. Those alive. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now the, now the tents of this next word is so important. <clears throat> Who hath. Mm -hmm. Now that's past tense. Amen. Who hath. It's already happened. Just like Connie was talking about them prayers. <clears throat> they're handed out. They're, they're already there. That vow, it's not overflowing that it's had it speaks of in the revelations. It's not oh, 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 overflowing, nor is it waiting for one prayer. It is perfectly full, exactly where, where it is. And when the Lord hand hands it down to one of his little children, who hath blessed us? And who is that us? It's that election of grace, those given him, those chosen in him. Blessed us with all spiritual blessings, every spiritual blessing. And I and I've read and I've read or I've heard or I don't know where, where, where they say you 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 better do this or you're going to miss a blessing. A little child of God is never going to miss a blessing. It can't happen and it never will happen. For our God, He changes not. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if He has, if He has blessed you, and He has. With all spiritual blessings, that blessing will happen at the time that He appoints it for His little children. And it cannot happen <clears throat> in heavenly places in Christ, according as He hath chosen us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love, having predestinated us unto what? Unto the adoption. The adoption <clears throat> of children by Jesus Christ to Himself. By Jesus Christ to Himself. I think I hit that back there in Isaiah. It's a ship. It's a galley. But it's not by the works of man. There are no oars in that. It is not by the works of man. And when you walk down down through this first chapter or any chapter in this written word, you will not find oars in this ship. It is not by the works of man. <clears throat> Having predestinated us into the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. And that's exactly how Paul, I, I went through this the other day, but I'm going to have to hit it again. <clears throat> I'm going to get stronger advice. <laughs> For saith he, I will have mercy. No, what, what shall we say then? <clears throat> Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. That's about as simple as you can state it. Mm -hmm. Paul said two words. Is there unrighteousness with God? 
<clears throat> God forbid. <clears throat> For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Who is he talking about? The lineage, that, <laughs> that, 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 that parentage. <clears throat> that is who he is talking about. <clears throat> Of whom and so, and then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth those oars in the galley. It is not of works. Paul just said that exact same thing in Ephesians. But of God that showeth mercy. <clears throat> now you go down to verse, well, verse 18. Therefore hath he had mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hardeneth. And then Paul, he says exactly what the carnal man will say in his heart every single time, <clears throat> Thou wilt say then unto me, the Spirit guided Paul in a perfect manner. Here's what you're going to say. <clears throat> that the Spirit knows this natural man. It knows just exactly. We can't even pray as we ought. The Spirit guideth that. It says it right, right here in Romans and it's 26, likewise the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know now what we should pray for as we ought are. <clears throat> he says, Thou wilt say unto me, Why doth he yet find fault? <clears throat> exactly. Why doth he yet find fault? Peter. Peter was told, Here's what you're going to do. You are going to do this, Peter. Here's what you're going to do. And Peter would not even say that he knew his Lord. At one moment, he is ready to defend him against several hundred of uh, guards, all of them armed. And the, next, and the next minute, he won't even admit to a little girl who is holding the door open who absolutely in the hierarchy of the world meant nothing, a servant girl probably. He wouldn't even mention, he wouldn't even say to her that I know him. <clears throat> but yet did he blame God? A little child of God will not blame God. For we are shown ourselves. We are shown what we are. And that's what Paul is saying right here. <clears throat> Why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? Who hath resisted his will? Peter couldn't resist his will. He was even told that, <laughs> that you're going to hear a rooster crow. That's how precise and exact our Lord is. You're going to hear a, you're going to hear a chicken, Peter. You're going to hear a chicken. And then our, our timing of our Lord is perfect to, to the point that chicken, it crowed. And the Lord locked, locked eyes with Peter right then. And probably the most humbling message that has ever been spoke on this earth happened right then. Oh, oh our Lord looked at Peter and Peter seen our Lord. But it was a purpose. There was a purpose in that. <clears throat> and he says right here, mm -hmm. <clears throat> who hath resisted his will. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Verse 20, no. Nay, but old man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing form say to him that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? Verse 21. Hath not the potter power over the clay of the same one to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? It goes back. It goes back to the key grand point. To him be the praise and to him be the glory. Amen. <laughs>